Red Table, for me, um, just all the stuff that's going on in the press. Mm -hmm. I felt like it was important to come to the table to really clear the air. Somebody made a statement for me that wasn't a statement I made mm -hmm. that went cray cray. And one of the reasons why I want to- Usually not, you know, that, that would be something I wouldn't comment on at all. Yeah. You know, and I feel like it's a situation that I consider private. You just feel like it ain't really nobody, no, nobody's, nobody's business. Nobody's business, yeah. but- yeah. But now Black Twitter has claimed it <laughs> as their business. <laughs> but, you know, I feel like it's, it's healing that needs to happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I know there's a lot of stuff going on in the world right now. Yeah. Even though this is minuscule, I do feel like it's these kinds of things that create the world that we're in. Mm -hmm. And the idea of not communicating, yeah. not talking about it, not clearing the air, mm -hmm. and just being as transparent. Mm -hmm. Just Absolutely. being transparent. And I'm, I'm here with you. Yeah, I thank you for that, because you've been on a hell of a journey with me. So yeah, that's what yes. we're going to start with, we're is that start this with... is a very personal journey yep. that became very public. Yes, absolutely. For whatever reason. So what happened, Jada? Okay, so let's start with, I guess about four and a half years ago. Yeah, Started a, I think it was about four and a half, four years ago. Mm -hmm. um, started a friendship with August. Mm -hmm. And we actually became really, really good friends. Mm -hmm. And it all started with him just needing some help. Mm -hmm. You know, me wanting to help his health, his mental state. Because for me, that was the thing when I when um, when Og first came around, he was he was really, really sick. sick. He was really, you know? really sick. Yeah. And the outpouring for him from our family was uh, initially about his health. Yeah. And I mean, we found all those different resources, mm -hmm. you know, to help pull him through. Mm -hmm. And from there, you know, you and I were going through a very difficult time. Yeah. And we decided- I was done with your you, ass. Yeah, you kicked me to I the curb. I was done with you. Yeah. <laughs> We Marriages have that, though. Yeah, Marriages have that. Yeah, we basically, mm -hmm. we broke up. We decided that we were going to separate for a period of time, and you go figure out how to make yourself happy, and I'll figure out how to make myself happy. Well, at that particular point in time, it was indefinite. Yeah, I really felt like we could be over. You yeah, know? no, and, we were over. And then what did you do, Jada? Well, you know, I think from there... You know, as time went on, I got into a different kind of entanglement mm -hmm. with August. And one thing I want to get clear about and clean up, one of the things that was kind of swirling in the press about you giving permission, mm -hmm. which is, uh, you know, the only person that can give permission in, in, in that particular uh, uh, yeah. circumstance is myself. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But what... August was probably trying to communicate mm -hmm. because I could actually see how he would perceive it as permission because we were separated mm -hmm. amicably. Yeah. And I think he also wanted to make it clear that he's not a homewrecker, mm -hmm. which he's not. I think so. I mean, because this is your red table and you like brought yourself to the red table. I think um, you need to say clearly what happened. As far as what? You and I decided we were going to take our space and what happened. Yeah, and then I got into an entanglement with August. That's what I said. An entanglement? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A relationship. Yes, it was a relationship. Absolutely. I was in a lot of pain and I was very broken. Now, in the process of that relationship, I definitely realized that you can't find happiness outside of yourself. Mm-hmm. And luckily enough, you and I were also going through a process of healing in a much different manner. Mm -hmm. I would definitely say we did everything that we could to get away from each other, only mm -hmm. to realize that that yeah, wasn't yeah. possible. So we come to the red table. So I'm in, I'm in the Jada position right now. So, okay. you know, you during that time launched into an interaction mm -hmm. with August. What do you feel like? Um, you were looking for? I just wanted to feel good. Mm -hmm. It had been so long 
mm-hmm. since I felt good. Yeah. And it was really a joy to just help heal somebody. Yeah. I think that has a lot to do with my codependency, which is another thing that I had to learn to break in this cycle, just mm-hmm. that idea of needing to fix and being drawn to people that need help whether it's your health or whether it's your addictions, Mm -hmm. there's something about that childhood trauma Mm -hmm. um, that feels as though it can be fixed through fixing people Mm -hmm. versus fixing me. Yeah. And I think that that whole process with all really showed me that Mm -hmm. and taught me that. And I'm really grateful for that lesson. I feel like that husband, like I'm with you at the press conference. <laughs> and that husband, I'm with, now I got to be with you at the press conference <laughs> while you like to tell the world uh, about your transgressions. <laughs> well, like I love, I love my baby. I'm gonna stand by my baby no matter what. Well, you know, I definitely, <laughs> I definitely understand mm-hmm. um, why it would look that way or feel that way. But I actually don't look at it as a transgression at all. Through that particular journey, I learned so much Mm -hmm. about myself and was able to really confront a lot of emotional immaturity, Mm -hmm. emotional insecurity. Mm -hmm. And I was really able to do some really deep healing, Mm -hmm. you know. And as I came through and started to realize certain things about you and I, he decided to break all communication with me, which was totally understandable. Right. Um, and I let that be and hadn't talked to him since. No. So it is a little weird that all this stuff is coming out yeah. now since this was. Yeah, because for me, several... this was years ago. Right. <laughs> yeah. You know, so the fact that it's uh, coming up now and I think it could feel weird for people that we're laughing and, and talking about it. But it happened so long ago, you know, and our experiences of working through it, fighting through it, talking through it, uh, therapizing right. through it. I think that the why now is weird. Yeah. When I say it's been a huge healing on my life and just what I had to confront and discover, yeah. you know, about myself, yeah. the ugly truths mm-hmm. and the beauty. Mm-hmm. So it was something that I felt like wasn't really ready to mm-hmm. be discussed because it hadn't been that. Mm-hmm. Healing because he hasn't wanted to, you know, Aug and I haven't talked in so long. You know what I mean? So I don't know. This 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 all seemed very strange, yeah. you know. But I'm just I'm grateful for the journey that you and I have had together. Yeah. Because I feel like there are a lot of couples that go through those periods. Yeah. And a lot of couples that have to separate and yeah. think it's over and yeah. you know. The one thing I'll say about you and I is that there's never been secrets. Right. We came together uh, young and we were both broken in our own ways. And to be able to make mistakes without the fear of losing your family is so critical. Yeah. It's the idea of any relationship and trying to get to deeper understanding of love is going to be forged in fire. Yeah. There's no way around it. Yeah. And I think that one of the things that I'm deeply grateful in this whole process between you and I is that we have really gotten to that new place yes. of unconditional love. Because I wasn't sure I was ever going to speak to you again. I know, I know. Yeah, like... The fact that I'm speaking to you again is a, <laughs> is a miracle. Um, <laughs> I would agree. I would agree. No, but it ain't for the weak at heart. There's just certain things that you have to go through, and it's like... And I wish, you know, I wish that wasn't the case. <laughs> I do. I Absolutely. wish you know, that sure, wasn't the hey, case. I sure wish it could be all magic and miracles. Yeah. You got to go through some to get the answers. hmm You know, and I'm just happy because I definitely believe that you and I, we never, ever, ever thought that we would make it back. Yeah, there's a real power in the just knowing somebody's riding with you no matter what. Yeah. And you really can't know that. Until you go through 
through some stuff, you know. I don't want to go through this no more. Yeah, no, I don't yeah. either. Yeah. I'm going to get you back first, and then... You're going to get me back. I think you've got me back. <laughs> I think you <laughs> I think we're good on that, okay? <laughs> okay, that might, that's probably true. That's you know, true. but... Um, and I don't think it's about getting anybody back. No, for me it is. Okay. Um, I'll give you that petty... <laughs> If that's what you want. <laughs> uh, um, but, you know, I will definitely say mm -hmm. it's just part of it. Yeah. You know, if you expect to be with somebody for a lifetime. 25 years and counting. Mm. We ride together. We, we die, die together. together. Bad, Bad marriage, marriage for, for life. life. <laughs> 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 that's terrible. It's the truth. It's the truth. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's just part of the journey. I told you the first year we were, were married. What'd you tell me? That I can love you through anything. And I didn't believe you. Yeah. If somebody looked through a crystal ball and said, this, 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 and this is going to happen, I'd be like, mm -hmm. no way. Yeah. You thought I was that, that I didn't have the girth that it was going to take to ride with I you didn't, through. Yeah. I didn't know if you would be willing to find the deep capacity to love me. Yeah. How am I doing? You doing great. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> yeah. You're awesome.